Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. We are finally done taking down Christmas. I took down my last tree last night. I am so excited y'all. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas decor, but I am ready to get my house back clean and in order. So if you like what you see in this video, don't be scared to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. My name is Rogina and welcome to Life with Ro Nicole. So I decided to take the week off after Christmas um, to hang out with the kids since they were out on Christmas break. So I knew that if I didn't get the majority of this done while I was out on break, I was not, it was going to take forever for me to get it done. Like I already knew that. So this first part was filmed like maybe that Thursday. And it actually didn't take me that long, but I knew I was going to have to like rearrange how I had everything packed down and reorganize um, how I wanted everything to go. So I just got up and started taking it down. So the tree is a seven and a half foot cashmere fur. It is so pretty. It is pre-lit. It is really fluffy, but y'all, the needles wore my hands out. I would definitely wear gloves the next time I decorate this tree. So Christian was supposed to be helping me take the ornaments off the tree while I was in the kitchen warming his food. But yeah, this boy was throwing the ornaments on the table. They was rolling off on the floor. I'm like, baby, the bean is right here. Right here. He did do a good job with the ribbon though. If you guys have any questions about where I got anything in the video, please feel free to ask down in the comment section and I will let you know where it's from. So usually when I get ribbon and stuff from the Dollar Tree, I'm like, oh, it's just a dollar, I'll throw it away. Y'all, this year, your girl was throwing nothing away. I kept everything that I could possibly salvage. I went way over budget this year for Christmas decor, and I was not throwing anything away.
promise you, I have a love-hate relationship with glitter. I love the way it looks, but y'all, it gets everywhere and you are forever cleaning it up. Like I said before, this tree was very fluffy and it was so hard to get it flat enough to put back in this box. Christmas tree actually came bubble wrap and I am so glad it, it did. I was able to use that same bubble wrap and wrap up all of my breakable items. I was so happy. I did not want to go to the store and spend any more money.
So your girl likes to be organized, but I also like to use stuff I already have around the house. So I use all the totes I already had. I use a lot of Ziploc bags, plastic wrap, um, bubble wrap I already had. Those large boxes from diapers, I keep those and I pack things away in those. You might as well recycle.
As you can see, my kids thought that the box for my Christmas tree was an amusement park and they kept trying to play in it and hide in it. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet We do not have a mantle, so this garland was held up by command strips. be broken down but i'm smiling i keep my head up high though i fail sometimes i get a bit emotional but then i turn around and let it go i see you watching me from a distance i see you can't decide what to feel but if you dig a little deeper boy you know you really want to get to know
So you know with command strips you have to pull the tab and they're supposed to pop off the wall but for some reason this command strip decided to break as I was pulling it and I was I, I don't know I just I didn't know how to take it off the wall without just snatching it off so I said maybe if I take it off really slow it won't damage my wall yeah it damaged my wall So I thought I was filming myself taking all of this stuff off the tree, but of course I forgot to hit record. But this is just a clip of how everything is packed away and wrapped up. So the next day I decided to take all of the ribbon and the rest of the ornaments off and that is where I stopped. My tree sit just like this for about a week because I still need to take all of the lights off. So fast forward, I am taking all of these lights off the tree and finally getting this bad boy down. So you know your girl's gonna definitely have to clean up this area there was so many needles and glitter and just like everything was on this floor from all of the ornaments and picks and even the ribbon was glittered so yeah a good vacuuming and cleaning up of this room is much needed So this tree had about seven strands of lights and I thought it was going to be so hard to get them off but they actually came off really easily. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.